I got permission to tell this story. I like this one. So I'm working with this dad, and, uh, and he's got three kids. He has a 14-year-old boy, two 12-year-old twins, boy and a girl. And they're in church one Sunday. And the kids are getting bored as kids, I don't know, I don't know if any of you were ever bored in church on Sunday, but you know, I think I might remember feeling that way once or twice. And so what the kids have decided the game is going to be is we will find funny words in the hymnal and point to them and try to get each other to laugh. <laughs> Seraphim. And, uh, and it's working, and they're laughing, and Dad's just getting fried. He's losing it. He's getting really, really, really ticked off. And it happens one too many times. And the setup is like this. There are about six or seven pews back. Mom, dad, twin, twin, 14-year-old. And the 14-year-old is the last one to act. So dad reaches across and he pulls the kid toward him by like the scruff here. Like, 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 you know, grabbing Marty like this and blowing like this. And he says, this is not how we behave in church, god damn it! <laughs> And he holds him there. And he realizes, oh man, it just got real quiet in here. <laughs> and he said, the next few moments were kind of like a movie. Because he said, like, I realize this is bad. And I slowly look up. And just like me right now, all eyes are on me. But I'm facing forward. So people are turned around. And it's quiet. Meaning, father back there isn't saying anything. Everyone stopped talking. So he literally was kind of like, Go, go ahead, Father. We're good over here. I've got it all set. We're good. And, uh, and to his dad's credit, he comes in to see me the following week. And he says, Duffy, I know that what my kids were doing was not cool. I knew I had to intervene in some way. But I exploded. What was my problem? And within five minutes, he came up with two really good answers. One was, I've got a lot of conflict about way, the way I was parented by my father. So that was number one. Came out within three or four minutes. The other one was, I have a lot of insecurities about the way I parent my kids. That was number two. So he realized a lifetime of baggage was brought to bear on this kid in church, and he's like, you know, completely ill-equipped to handle all of that baggage, because, you know, it's really not his. So dad way overreacts. And there's a couple of things. When we, when we overreact, we give our kids permission to do the same passively. We are the emotional role models for our kids. So it's important at tough times that we be as close as we can to air traffic control of the family, right? We are calm and cool in tough situations. And this dad knew, I forget, blew it. I lost it. And I've got to kind of recoup my cool. So it's important to recognize when you get angry that this is. Uh, you probably have heard this. I know a couple of you guys know. Anger is a secondary emotion. It's rarely just a pure thing. I'm just really pissed off. It usually means something else. It usually means you're hurt or you're sad or you're anxious or something like that. And it's important to think about and recognize, all right, what's really going on with me? Why am I really acting this way? And then you can start to control that. Not that he shouldn't have said something to his kid like, hey, knock it off or I'm taking you out of here or something, right? Or there's going to be a consequence to what you're doing. But if it's a cooler head prevailing, it makes a big difference in saying, you know, this is not how we behave in church, 